<laughs> Brat. <laughs> the music sounds pretty, uh, uh, western. <laughs> oh, we've even got a bell tower in the background. So, uh, when we left off, we were talking to this gal, and uh, she was wanting some earplugs. Oh, I remember that I need uh, neon colors for a drink. Remember the menu? I'm talking to you like you might not be. <laughs> it's been a few days since I picked this game up, so I'm more, I'm more talking to myself than you. <laughs> Yeah, see, we need uh, neon colors. And I think we've got them all. That's good. Oh, they give us a smiley face when we get our ingredient. That's helpful. But we don't know what's in the Volcano Berserker. Volcano Berserker. It hits you with a flaming punch. It looks like it's the only alcoholic beverage on the menu. However, the ingredients are missing from the recipe. Okay. So we need the ingredients. Um, earphones. Oh, no, ear, not earphones. She needs earplugs. Lily had also received a box like this after her father had been lost at sea. <laughs> it probably took the Association for the Relief of Dead Seafarers a long time to collect this. But we took it. An air pump. Oof, I can't imagine what we need that for. Let's see. Alright. Oh. What's that? Huh? Huh? Looks like a graveyard. A teeny tiny one. And we're not allowed to stay there, I guess. Okay. Anything else we can look at here? Oh, into the fire, it looks like. Oh, I'm not allowed to play with fire unless I tell it no. I remember that. Lily tried to hear voices in the fire, too. You know what you have to do, Lily. Ugh. Everything has to burn. Everything. <laughs> but there weren't any. At least none that she hadn't heard before. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm really worried about this kid. I don't think she's quite right. Okay. We talked to this gal already, didn't we? The girl seemed friendly. Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm telling you. Your grave is well cared for and all the flowers have been watered. If only I had earplugs. <laughs> earplugs. All right. What's wine gum? The wine gums looked tasty. Lily took that as a sign that she wasn't allowed any. Okay, stay with me on this, John Lay. Are wine gums the same thing as uh, gumdrops? And what? Oh, hi, little girl. Could you what stick you those in your ear? Are those earplugs? <laughs> Fabulous. No. Thank you. It's exactly what I need right now. <sighs> hmm. No, these are too big. Oh, bummer. So. Oh. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Much better. Yes. Loud and clear. Who wants to be first? Max Mixo? I could have guessed that. Could you possibly do me another favor? Uh huh. It's about Max Mixo. The previous bartender at the village bar. He's worried about his legacy. The volcano berserker. He'd always hoped that this drink would make him immortal someday. We both know that his plan failed, but now he literally took the recipe to his grave. Uh. He so wanted to leave it to posterity. It's very simple. The cocktail only has three ingredients. Wine gum, artemisia, and a chili pepper. Did you get that? Uh-huh. Thank you, Lily. Maybe the great Max Mixo can finally find peace. And me too. Okay. She threw some of the wine gums away, so I'm gonna take those back. And I think I have a chili pepper already. But what is the other thing? Artemisia. I don't even know what that is. 
Well, gumdrops in your ears. So the next time you're having to deal with a lot of noise, John Lane, just take you some old grandma candy that nobody has around. Stick them right in your ear. <laughs> okay. I know I've got stuff to make these other this other uh, neon drink, so I'm going to try and see what happens if I... If you want to order anything, just point it out to me on the menu. Coming right up. Ooh. Oh, by the way, that's a non-alcoholic cocktail, but don't worry. There's enough other illegal substances in it. <laughs> okay. Oh, now I've got a neon drink. Neon drink to make your liver glow in the dark. Oh, no. Okay, now did I... I feel like I may have tried this already. To use the machine, you needed small chain. Yes. And a comfortable relationship with Salmonella. <laughs> okay. Wine gum. All right, so that's a flounder machine anyway, so there may not be any puffer fish in it. Anything else in here to look at? Nope. Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, I've been... And I've been to the cemetery. And I've been to the police. Is there any place else I can go? Hmm. <laughs> Anything further over here? Nixie, Nixie, nay, nay, nay. All right. Hmm. Well, so I need to find the ingredients for the drinks. That's all the to-dos on my list right now. I think. Oh, I've got to get, uh, well, I've got to get alcohol so I can get arrested so I can get that thing. Right. Yeah, because I need this map. Um, is there anything else in here to look at? No. I wonder if this guy can help me with anything else. The officer was trembling <laughs> all over. Oh. It wasn't even that cold in here. <laughs> you again? Do you want to make another complaint? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this had to happen someday. Yes. And who do you want to make a complaint about, if I may ask? Um, you know what, John Lee? I was just thinking uh, that I don't know if I told you this or not, but see this guy's face right here? Um, I realized when I was doing the editing for that first video that you couldn't see the little guy's face up here that was talking about all the tutorial. He looked exactly like this guy and sounded like this guy, so I'm assuming it was this little character right here. Let's see. Uh -huh. You don't mean yourself, do you? Uh-huh. <laughs> Police. What terrible things could a little girl like you have done? Oh, I don't know. Children Kill everybody at a convent. Can't even be charged with a crime. The only reason to lock up a young kid like you would be to sober you up. Oh, I think but I I'm talked sure to him about this. Uh -huh. You see? Of course, the machine, but I can't. Yeah, okay, I already talked to him about all that stuff. Okay. Is there another way? We can't go to Moore Lake without the... Oh, there's a bridge. Oh! The path that Garrett had taken led Lily to a small bridge over one of the brackish creeks running off from Moore Lake. Two trustworthy looking men in white lab coats were working there. Lily wasn't quite sure what to make of it. She also recognized Garrett in the bushes on the other shoreline. Apparently, he didn't want to be seen by the two men. And although the two nocturnal workers had made a friendly impression on Lily, <laughs> she decided to follow the youth investigator's lead. Smart. And have you found anything yet? Do you have to keep asking that? Yes. I'll let you know if I discover something. Yeah, I guess you're right. I think Dr. Marcel's madness is starting to rub off on you. Uh-oh. Since we found this stuffed rabbit by the lake, 
He's been obsessed. We should be taking care of patients instead of poking around the moor. And then there's that absurd plan with the hypnosis doll. Stop already. And keep looking. Have you actually found anything yet? Well, Lily had heard enough. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the men in white were Dr. Marcel's minions. No, they're not it yellow and small and round. And his concern had been justified. Dr. Marcel really was looking for him. It was now more important than ever to find Edna's hiding place. Indeed. And I see plants here. Can I take any of these plants? There was a sign on the feeding trough. Don't feed the saber-toothed boars. Saber-toothed boars are very dangerous. In the event of an encounter, make sure you don't look like a well-behaved <laughs> schoolgirl. Saber-toothed boars are nocturnal. Grow up to six feet long and like to lurk in the shadows. Oh, no. They can be frequently found near the territorial herb Artemisia, since they mark their territory on the leaves of this plant. Therefore, avoid areas where this herb grows after dark. The Forest Ranger. Lily would have gladly heeded the warning, but she had no idea how to recognize Artemisia. Okay. They mark their territory on Artemisia. Yes, I did. You're not supposed to feed the boars. The forest ranger said so. You must not contradict adults. But luckily, you know that yourself. Hmm. Lily doubted that saber-toothed boars like something like that. But no. she wasn't supposed to feed them anyway. No, but... How am I supposed to contradict adults if I can't? Hmm. Can I? Oh. Places. Come on now. I want to. You must not hang around dangerous places. Well, how do I get to fight the guy? Right. Hmm. I can't. Is there anything else around there? No. Huh. Alright, well, I need to be able to go in there. And I can't go in there without hypnotizing myself. Is there anything this way? That's the village. There's the bridge. Lily doubted the saber tooth, but she was Oh, silly, I just did that. Hmm. Well, I'll be. Hmm. I just can't. I've got to be able to hypnotize myself. I got to be able to get a rabbit. Where would I be able to find a rabbit? The rabbits come at me, and usually I can. Hmm. Huh. Maybe, maybe she's got something she can tell me now. Wait, I have a few seances to finish here. 
Who wants to be first? Max Mixo? Okay. <clears throat> And I'm not allowed through there. It just turns me right around. Okay. Nothing else to look at in here. Hm. Well, I am well and truly stuck. in here to use the machine you needed small chain right and I... a comfortable yeah yeah I get that <laughs> Lily had never seen a bartender before but she was pretty sure that they didn't usually wear nightgowns nightgowns <laughs> nightgown Well, well John Chi, I'm real stuck here. <sighs> there are only two things I can see to look at in here, and I've looked at them. If I talk to him, all he does is tell me that he'll give me what he, I want off the off of the menu. <clears throat> Knockout poison smile. I'd have to get some puffer <laughs> puffer fish. Hmm. I don't know where in the world you'd get a puffer fish. Is there anything I'm missing back here? That must be the police car. <laughs> Definitely not the police bicycle. The bar suggested that this was a lion cage. I already got the pepper out of the pizza box. So there's nothing else I can nothing else I can do back here, it looks like. Hmm. What am I missing? I'm obviously missing something. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe I could use maybe I don't need to get rested. Maybe I need to can just use the air pump to pump it this way, maybe? Blow air at it. I guess not. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I definitely need to get some alcohol so I can... Hmm. <sighs> well... Huh. Oh, my sound's gone out. Uh -uh. I would have really hated if I had to go outside. <laughs> Ever since Dr. Marcel stopped running the asylum properly, the whole area has been overrun with escaped loonies. It's best just to stay at home and hide behind a desk. That's the most sensible thing to do. Oh, yes. Well, all right. <laughs> so the guy in the bar is not a bartender. He is an escaped loony. Let's see. Huh. Wow, I just, I don't guess I've ever been so stumped. Hmm. Well, 
well, Janji. I feel like I must be missing a room or a space or something. There's just... Hmm. Bridge. You don't, <laughs> you don't want to talk to them. Okay. Okay, so she tried hollering at Garrett. Now I'm wondering if the game's broken. She tries hollering at Garrett, and they're like, Did you hear something? I don't know. Hopefully not another saber-toothed boar. I'm still out of breath. Okay. Oh! I'm so stupid! I can contradict adults if I say I can. Oh, for heaven's sake. If the saber tooth boars had to mark their territory, it says something. I don't know why we've lost our voice guy. <laughs> Suey. All right. There we go. That's Artemisia. Oh, thank goodness. I've got to start thinking about those stupid restriction things. Honestly, I feel like a big dumb dummy. All right. Now, Mr. Bartender, sir. If you want to order anything, just point it out to me on the menu. Well, all right. I want a Volcano Berserker, please. A Volcano Berserker? Coming right up. But be careful. Drink packs punch. I'm not talking about punchy colada if you catch my drift. Oh. But Lily, that what's that for? That's not good for little children. You must not touch alcohol. Oh wait, I should you must not touch alcohol. Milk is better for your teeth anyway. Hey hey, look at my funny chompers. <laughs> They're cute, aren't they? Uh-huh. All right, he's standing there, so now. Ooh, ball of wool. Can I see it again? Uh-huh. <laughs> Wookie. 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 <laughs> That's silly. Uh, okay. Puppy dogs. Mayonnaise. Take. Coffee. Take. Lily wasn't sure if someone... No behavior blocks. It was probably okay. Alright. <laughs> Coffee wakes her up from the hypnosis. All right. Coffee was so strong it jarred Lily out of her trance. All right. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Ball of wool. Here you go, Harvey. We're going to flash through this oogie boogie, too. All right, uh, stay away from the coffee. Poker dog. Hey, look, the ugly girl wants to play too. Then she has to place her bet. She can't play without a bet. Meow. Oh, cigars. Hey, those are only for players. I'm a dog. Okay. Champagne bucket. Lily liked the cold. It reminded her of her bed. I've got mayonnaise. 
Should I put it in the... Should I put it? It would keep longer than... Lily also knew nothing lasted forever. I wonder what I should... I can't take anything from the champagne bucket, so I must need to stick something in the champagne bucket later. It's a gold digger. Um, howdy, stranger. What's a nice little girl like you doing in a rough place like this? Wait, you're not here for the gold rush too, are you? Well, then you might as well just pack up, pack up your bags again. The only gold around here is mine! <laughs> gold mine. And I'm the only one who knows the way there. Plus, you can't get it. Get in there right now, anyway. Oh? Where is it? Forget it! The way to my mind is top secret. Even I have trouble remembering it. Hmm. I should actually ride over there again. <laughs> okay. I knew it! You're after my gold. Well, you can just forget it. My gold mine is good and hidden. And even if you found it, you wouldn't get in. The entrance is guarded by a Wendigo. A Wendigo made her curious. Uh-huh, could he be another manifestation of her behavioral blocks? Could be. Perhaps it'd be worthwhile to look for the mine after all. <laughs> you don't know what a Wendigo is, do you? Uh -uh. I do, though. Well, I don't know much myself. Some kind of Indian demon that's stopping me from getting into my mind. If you want to know more, you need to ask the shaman. He's knocking around here somewhere. Okay. Uh, shaman. The shaman? No idea. I never met him personally. Sometimes I see his smoke signals on the horizon. That's it. But if anyone can tell you about when it goes, it's him. Well, alright. Oh. There's a lot of room for provisions in the saddlebags. So the cash cow wasn't forced to stop at every little milestone. Okay. Bones. Vulture. Meep. Yeah, yeah, right back at ya. Tell me you weren't planning on decaying in the next couple of days, were ya? Uh -uh. Hmm. Oh well, no problem. I should be cutting down on carcasses anyway. My dietician is pulling his hair out. More fresh fruit, he says. Have salad now and then. I know all that, but what can I do? I just love that rotten stuff. I just have to smell rotting flesh and I start circling. Blech. And honestly, out here in the desert, it's hard to maintain a healthy diet. You try and leave something for later and the bacteria just move right in. You could get the most horrible diseases. Festering boils and oozing eczema. <laughs> oh man, all this talk of food has made me hungry. Please leave me alone with my growling belly. Sundial. Okay. <laughs> I see smoke signals. Somewhere on the horizon, a donut factory seemed to be having problems with this chimney. <laughs> okay. So it looks like I can... Sundial it. I can make time go the way I want. Alright. Uh, Janji, we're going to stop here and do some more exploring next time. <sighs> I'm sorry your sister's such a big dumb dummy and can't remember how to do things. <laughs> Bye, brat!